It looks like Josh King is the striker that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to try and sign for Manchester United on transfer deadline day. Stories are going to develop extremely quickly today, so I'm going to get straight to the point with this one. Where did the story begin? It began last night with the Telegraph when they said that United were in for Josh King. And then today, those reports were doubled down by loads of outlets, including Sky Sports, who said that Man United had a bid rejected for Josh King and that a second bid was being prepared. VG out in Norway, they say that bid was £27 million. Now, Eddie Howe, Bournemouth's manager, has also been talking about the possibility of Josh King to United. This is what he said. I'm not going to deny anything you've read about that bid. Who knows what's going to happen? Josh is much valued and loved by us, and another club has obviously seen how good he is. Speaking as a manager with a day to go, I would be very reluctant to lose a player of that quality. But a lot of these things are out of my control. I love him as a player and a person. Talks about his history with United and how much he brings to that Bournemouth team. So Eddie Howe has confirmed that that bid has gone in. What about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? What has he had to say? He has denied everything. Just like he denied that Rojo was leaving two days before he left. Just like he denied that Sanchez was going to leave two weeks before he left. Solskjaer plays the game very well. And I actually quite like that bit about him. Very Fergie-esque. Doesn't give anything away to the press. But Eddie Howe has confirmed that bid has gone in and United are going after Josh King. Now, King has obviously played under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer before, back in United's reserves. But is he the right man for United? You look at his record this season, it would probably say no. Three goals, I think, in 16 Premier League appearances last year in the Premier League. He had 12, 12 goals in 35 Premier League appearances. But right now... He's injured with a hamstring injury. And the reason we need to sign a striker is because of injuries. So to go and sign a striker who's currently injured to solve our injury problems is a bit of a strange one. And I asked you over on Twitter, would you like United to go after Josh King? I'm going to read a few of your replies out. And I'll be honest, it's a bit of a mixed bag. You've got Noz Dub saying, I don't like it. I don't feel Joshua is effective enough at all. Talks about three goals in 1,300 minutes. How is that going to solve United's problems? And it's a fair concern to have. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said he wanted a striker who would break his nose to score a goal. Is Josh King that player? Mark, you said he's 28 and with the same amount of Premier League goals this season as Scott McTominay. And Bournemouth will want 30 plus million. Again, I think that's a fair thing to say. Josh King, if we were to sign him, I think would be the first signing that isn't massively part of this rebuild. I think Wan Bissaka, Dan James, Maguire, and Bruno Fernandes, for all different reasons, I can see slotting into this rebuild perfectly. Josh King, for me, would be a, a desperate deadline day signing simply to get a body in. If we were to get him in on loan, I think that would be a fantastic move. But Bournemouth aren't going to let one of their better players leave on loan. Never. That's why I think it's a bit strange. Asker there saying, look, not loving this on loan, yes, but permanently not the way to go. I would agree with that. And Forbes saying Raul Jimenez would have been a better option. Absolutely. Nobody is going to disagree with that. But my problem with King, I suppose, is mainly the timing. If United are willing to give Ole Gunnar Solskjaer 30 million to spend on a striker, why wait until transfer deadline day to pull your finger out of your ass and actually make some moves for a striker? Why wait? Is it, are we literally incapable of dealing with Bruno Fernandes at the same time as looking for a striker? United, throughout the whole of January, needed a striker. And Rashford's injury exacerbated that problem, that we need more goal scorers. But to see United go and spend £30 million on Josh King, who I think is a good striker, but Salomon Rondon's also a good striker, and I don't really want him at the club. United need a striker, it's deadline day, and it looks like we're going after Josh King. Do you think that is the right thing to do, or is it better to just say, work with what we've got, and carry on for the rest of the season. For me, Josh King would come in simply as a body, not as a top target, as the person that we've always wanted that will solve our problems up front. It would simply be a body, another striker in the squad to give Solskjaer more options. And for 30 million, that would seem like a strange decision to make. But what do you make of it? A few of you disagree, maybe a few of you agree. Let me know in the comments below. But United, it looks like of all the strikers we've been linked to, Josh King is the one that we are pursuing hotly.